It was amazing just to see the smile on those kids' face. They're excited that you're there. They're excited that you just came and showed up. And the fact we're there to share with them the most important thing in the world. After being in Accra for just a few days, God directed our attention to the marketplace. Once a place that terrified us beyond belief, God was able to transform that terror into something miraculous. Being able to share the love of Jesus Christ with those who eagerly wanted to listen. Some of our team also had the privilege of going into the marketplace to buy supplies to build our skateboard ramps. Spending days in the hot sun, all to get ready for the upcoming event at the end of the week, Ghana Fest. We gave them t-shirts. It's amazing what they get excited about over here. You know, about 15 years old, I accepted Christ into my life, and I said, you know, I want to take this gift God gave me, the skateboarding, and I want to start to use it for Him. And that's when I started taking it really serious and started uh, using my skateboard as a launch pad to talk about the gospel that everyone I encounter. So we want to be able to interact with everyone, and that's, you know, that's why we're here, not just to skate and our show, but we want to be able to, to talk to people and just to share our hearts with them. Jesus Christ told me to come here to tell you guys the word. We had all these people coming together, and by the end of it, we just want to lift up the name of the Lord God and prove to the whole world that Jesus Christ is Lord. The reason we came here is not just to show off our skill, not to boast of ourselves, but we really want to use what we have as a platform to share with you the love of Jesus Christ. So we are all coming together to glorify God and then to give glory to God and to preach the message to those also who have not heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. For those that have accepted Christ, we can't promise them that they won't face a life of persecution. We can only tell them that God's love for them is so mighty and no matter what they go through in this life, with his son's blood, they have a promised eternal life.